The United States has cut off more than $500 million aid, which was supposed to be given to Niger. This is happening few hours after the first convoy of French troops started withdrawing from Niger as ordered out by coup leaders. Niger's military regime announced on state television late Tuesday that it escorted the first convoy of French soldiers from their base in the western town of Oualam in the direction of Chad. The withdrawal of French forces was quickly demanded by Niger's new ruling generals after they took power on July 26, with French President Emmanuel Macron confirming in September their departure, a process that Paris expects to be completed by the end of the year. Around 1,000 French troops were stationed in Niamey, with another 400 deployed at two forward bases in the northwest, near Mali and Burkina Faso, a hotbed of insurgent activity. In addition to the departure by land, three special flights have been registered at the airport in Niamey, two for the departure of 97 special forces elements and one dedicated to logistics. The United States, along with West African nations and former colonial power France, had been pressing the military to restore President Mohamed Bazoum. We're taking this action because over the last two months, we've exhausted all available avenues to preserve the constitutional order in Niger a senior U.S. official added. French troops have been living with uncertainty since the new regime began demanding their departure, with irregular supplies of food and repeated anti-French demonstrations outside the Niamey base. It is the third time in 18 months that French troops have been sent packing by a former African colony, dealing a severe blow to France's influence on the continent and prestige on the international stage. France's ambassador to Niger was also given his marching orders by the leaders of the coup that toppled the French-backed president. Niamey's military rulers had labelled the announcement of France's diplomatic and troop withdrawals in September as a step towards the sovereignty of Niger. Mali and Burkina Faso, which have also undergone coups in the past two years, have also turned their backs on France accusing it of a colonialist attitude and of failing to effectively combat jihadists. Mali has pivoted towards Moscow, bringing in mercenaries from the notorious Wagner Group. In Niger, anti-French demonstrators have also been seen waving Russian flags, scenes in stark contrast to rejoicing that greeted French troops in 2013 when they helped liberate northern Mali from Al-Qaeda-affiliated insurgents. Niger had in recent months been acting as a regional hub for French troops, helping armies in the region fight Islamist insurgents. Macron initially attempted to keep his troops and ambassador in the country, but in late September gave in to pressure to bring them home after months of anti-French protests. France still insists that Bazoum's ousted government remains the sole legitimate authority. The former president remains under house arrest in near May. Let me conclude by saying that the rest of enslaved Africa has a thing or two to learn from the Nigerian situation and the Nigerians themselves. Nothing is impossible when we are united. I repeat, nothing will be impossible for Africa if we unite. What are your thoughts on this video? Kindly consider hitting that subscribe button and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.